Guys, I'm excited to be with you today. We're going to have a lot of fun. You know, I'm still trying to fix my microphone situation, so I'll hold it up as much as I can. But we're going to make ice cream. We're going to make ice cream today. But I will tell you, you know, this show really is mainly about, you know, making some food, but also having a, a Q&A. So that's what I'm here for. Uh, I love the Q&A. Make sure to be active in the chat box. I'm going to answer as many questions as I possibly can. Um, but the theme of today's show is how you handle your day when things just don't go to plan, okay? Like you, you have to understand that that's going to happen in life, right? So when you're making lifestyle changes, you're starting to change the foods you're eating. You're starting to change the way you're moving your body, the way, you, you know, your sleeping habits, uh, you know, your hydration habits, all right? In the beginning, usually kind of like it goes well in the beginning, right? Like you're super excited, you're motivated, and then like things happen in life and, and, and challenges come about and you know, you just, you just have a challenging day here or there and you, you got to learn how to stick with it. Right. And so this is something we talk about all the time. All right. You know, I get on the phone. I talk to a lot of people who are thinking about enrolling in our program. If you want to do that, you should go to our website and you should click the button for personalized coaching and you should get on the phone with somebody and see if we can help you. But the point is I, I talk to a lot of people and so do the members on our team. Maybe Bess can put up the page to sign up for that. But um, we, I, I will always remind people, you have to be in touch with your why, okay? You have to, be, you have to add, tell yourself, like, why am I doing this? You have to like, get in touch with that. So when you have the challenging days, the challenging moments, okay, you, you, you pull through because it's meaningful enough, right? Like these changes you're undergoing, the the you know, health improvements you're looking to make, like it's worth the effort. Okay. Because it's certainly a heck of a lot easier just to go and eat fast food. Right. Um, that's easier. And that probably tastes good in the moment. Right. But is it worth it for the long-term consequences? Like, do you really want to play that game? Right. So the point is, all right, today I'm supposed to make banana and blueberry ice cream. Okay. But the challenge is, I don't have any frozen blueberries, okay? I, didn't, I was not able to go get the frozen blueberries. I even tried the Instacart thing, but that couldn't happen in a timely enough fashion for that to work out today. So what we're going to make is just ice cream, just banana ice cream, just bananas, all right? And it's still going to be delicious. It's still going to be fun. We're going to get into this together, all right? This machine here, it's called a, it's called a Yonanas. Um, we're not sponsored by Yonanas. I would love to be sponsored. I hope one day that happens and I'll report to you. Hey guys, you know, today you can use our discount code and go get your Yonanas because we're in a partnership with them. I can't wait for that day. So if you know anybody at Yonanas, let's make a deal. But for now, I'm just telling you to go, get, go buy the Yonanas device. Okay, get it on Amazon. Um, you can get different colors. I got a red one here, which is fun. They have a lot of different options. And uh, this thing makes frozen fruit into the perfect texture for what well, I like to call it nice cream, all right? You call it ice cream, nice cream, whatever you want, but uh, no, no animals were harmed in the creation of, of the uh, nice cream that we're gonna make today. And so uh, keep, let's see if we've got any questions coming in. I will try and, uh, we'll, 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 we'll try and answer them. Um, is this one for diabetes? Um, well, this recipe is definitely for people living with diabetes. You betcha. hundred uh, percent. We teach people how to follow a low fat plant-based whole food diet, have an abundance of fruit. And, um, we also teach you a lot of the non-negotiables for what you have to do when you're transitioning, when you're very insulin resistant. So we're going to cover that, but, um, pistachio and mango. Okay. That sounds, that sounds delicious. Is that, is that a nice cream, but you gotta be careful with the pistachios, but hold on. So let me go let me go grab some um, some bananas, and you guys can write some questions in the chat box. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So you can still hear me, but it's not good. Good. Um, so um, these bananas. All right. These are uh, these are actually. Let me just try and get my different camera over here. All right. So actually, a better way to store your bananas would be to use a stasher bag. So this is a plastic bag. It's fine. It works, you know, but if you can use a reusable stasher bag, those are great, but these are actually, um, there's going to be, they're going to be little bananas. You can kind of see the size right here. These are known as Namwa bananas and, um, they are, um, a very special variety. I buy them from, uh, 
I, I get them from Miami Fruit, miamifruit.org. We do have a discount code with them. It's, it's Mastering Diabetes. That will save you 5%. Just so type in Mastering Diabetes when you check out for Miami Fruit um, and you'll get a discount. So these are amazing bananas. Any banana will work, right? So uh, one of the tips here is to, and again, I don't have any with me. I wish I did, but uh, a super, super ripe banana, okay, um, is something that, Okay, so a super ripe banana is perfect. So when you think they're overripe, that's actually a great time to freeze them and they'll make really, really good ice cream, okay? So you wanna freeze really, really ripe ones. Um, try and seal this bag as tight as possible. If you can get one of those vacuum devices that'll pull the air out, that's even better. Um, but you wanna, you, that'll make it so they don't go brown. And you know, this, the color should be pretty good with these bananas today. Because you want your ice cream to have that nice, like, white color, not be brown, right? So in order to achieve that, that's going to depend on uh, your freezing ability and technique. Also, you could just use them right away. Like, let's say I froze them last night, put it out today. Then, of course, they're not really going to change color, no matter how good you do at, at uh, getting air out of the bag. So um, we're going to let these thaw for a little bit. I'm not going to make ice cream out of all these. So let me pull out what I want, and then we'll make some ice cream, all right? Um, is it still cool? See, I shouldn't talk. I should keep the mic over here. Is it still cool to cube the bananas and store them in a Tupperware in the freezer? Yeah. Then you already have the... Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's a good idea. I, I'm, I'm here for that. Um, you're increasing the surface area, though, by cutting them already. And if you have a Yonanas, you don't really need to worry about doing too much cubing because the device can really handle this. Now, you could also make nice cream in um i got some enough for today you could you could make nice cream in a food processor you could make it in a, like a high speed blender you know like a vitamix or blendtec or a rebel something like that um those are good options but this machine is my favorite you're gonna see why all right well, let's see let's see what we got going on here um let's get a towel all right i should get a knife all right, uh, let's see. You know, one thing I wanted to say here uh, when talking about, you know, a day not going the way you want it to go is, okay, sure. So I wasn't able to go get the, um, the blueberries, which I wanted to. It, brings, it makes it a beautiful color. Maybe, maybe I'll do it on a future episode. But um, make sure you always have backup food options. Right? The fact that I have a ton of frozen bananas in my freezer, regardless of whether I can go to the store or not to get the blueberries, that's a good sign. At least I have something, right? You do not want to be in a position where you don't have food to eat in your house. Like stock up on the canned beans, right? Stock up on the whole grains. Stock up on frozen fruit, right? Stock up on some dried fruit as, as an option if you need to, you know, dried beans, right? Always have staples in your kitchen, always, like non-negotiable, no questions asked. You got to have them no matter what's going on, whether you can get to the store or not, you got things to eat, okay? So let's just understand that. All right, uh, let's see. We're gonna switch to this camera here. We don't need this in the shot, all right? Okay, so uh, you don't really need to cut them. Like, I, 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 it's not a terrible idea, but let's, let's just let's play with this, okay? So I'm gonna turn this on. I have a feeling it might be super loud. Um, we'll see how it goes, but here we go. We're going to turn the Yonanas on. Um, I'm going to switch to this camera over here. Okay. So we're just going to put it into the top, right? So I'm going to turn it on and just put it into the top. progress we've made so far uh i should really go on this angle okay so it's coming like look at this texture right like that's that is nice right i mean that's that is a good good texture and see how see how simple this is like honestly guys like i just took the bananas out of the freezer right i didn't really let them thaw that long okay 
Um, and it's just very easy. Like, this is not a difficult process. Like, when you use a blender and a processor, it kind of becomes a little bit more of a pain in the butt. But this device, the Yonanas, I mean, and you could put anything in here. Like, you could buy frozen mangoes. You could buy frozen cherries, frozen blueberries, frozen peas. You could just put anything in here. All, any combination you want. Like, it's, it's amazing. So here we go. Let's turn it back on. <laughs> the bananas is probably a good idea i think it might make it a more consistent tech uh like texture but maybe it doesn't really matter because it all just gets mushed up anyways but either way you can experiment with it cut it not cut it um whatever whatever you design but here we go let's let's keep going we're almost uh through our bananas <laughs> part let, let me show you a little secret here okay so um what we're gonna do is all right if you've seen me guys if you've seen if you guys have seen me cut mangoes on this show you know i don't really like to waste anything right well, did i get a hidden push through here i think i did okay so we're gonna open this up all right and there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of banana all right in here all right. Okay, so let me let me get this on the camera, right? See, there's a lot in there. You know, you gotta you gotta like eat that, right? We gotta take it out. And this is very easy to clean. Like, you see how easy that was to just screw off, right? So we're gonna take all this out. Okay. Like this, I'm I'm sorry the camera's like it's too white. I gotta fix that. But um, it looks amazing. Like, if you could see it in person, I really wish you could. I'd love for you guys all to come over, and we could eat some fruit together, and we could look at our Dexcoms together, and we could test our blood glucose. That's what we do at our retreats in person, right? Super fun. And um, we can learn lessons about what foods actually reduce your blood glucose, what foods make you more insulin sensitive. And I'm telling you right now, Bananas are on the list of foods that make you more insulin sensitive when consumed in a low fat environment. All right, you start eating a bunch of bananas and you're eating a bunch of nuts, like somebody had like pistachios in their ice cream recipe. I'm not really gonna recommend that unless it was a very small amount of pistachios because you gotta learn like how much fat is in a very small amount of nuts and seeds. It's something you really gotta know. Okay, so let's see here like this is the ice cream right now i forgot to measure this now i will let, let me I, I i should know how many grams of carbohydrate are in this meal um i'm not going to eat right now because i haven't taken any insulin let's see dexcom says i'm 94 right now so i'm ready for lunch but um let me rinse my hands one second all right okay so um, let's go back to the main camera here. All right, so there you have it. So uh, let me actually let's go back to this camera. Um, this is very easy to clean, right? It's the plastic thing here. Then you just have this here. And so actually four compartments, right? So we're gonna, that's easy to clean. Uh, this part's easy to clean. And um, it's just a great device. And it produces this amazing final product, which I'm sorry it's super white, but it is beautiful. I gotta fix that. Um, it's the texture is just, I cannot put into words how great that texture is and how easy it is to make it in a Yonanas. Like this device is fantastic. I don't remember the exact price, but it's quite affordable. 
Like it's totally worth it. This is such a great snack. Um, it's amazing. So that's our recipe for today. Now I want to answer any questions that have come in. Uh, if there are any, um, I made mine with a Nutribullet. It was full of too much air. So it made me feel very bloated. Any suggestions to prevent this? If I remember right, I use frozen bananas and frozen strawberries. Hmm. I'm not sure why it got full of air, but there's no air in this. So I suggest investing in a Yonanas. That's my answer to that question. I'm excited. I just bought a Yonana yesterday and haven't used it yet. This is so cool. Yeah. That's a great purchase. You're going to be very happy that you bought that. I'm telling you, like put it to use, you know, um, it's great. Okay. Hello, Mr. Robbie. I wish to write my bachelor thesis basing on the knowledge from your program and have tried to contact you personally in every form. Would it be possible for me to reach you somehow or to get an answer to my email? Okay. Uh, look, I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate your interest. Uh, we're a little busy, a little busy over here uh, helping people uh, make lifestyle change at Mastering Diabetes. So um, doing my best. I, I, I'm not going to make any promises. So I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, how would you add chocolate? Um, so my favorite way to add chocolate flavor is to use carob powder. And I think I actually have some. Let me go get that. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Where is carob powder? Right here. Okay. So I'm going to get on this camera right here. All right. Uh, so you're not going to be able to read it because the label's white. That's the last thing I need. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Organic carob powder. I think it came from Australia. I bought it on Amazon. All right. And uh, carob is actually a fruit that I've harvested from a tree before and, and had the chance to eat. And it was amazing. It's a delicious fruit. And then they, they make this powder up from it. So it, and it gives a nice chocolate flavor. So uh, I could probably sprinkle that in, like mix it in. I don't know if I would like put it through the Yonana's device. I don't think that's a good idea. But play around with it. And that's a great way to get some chocolate flavor in there. What is the device called? It's called a Yonanas. Yonanas. Y-O-N-A-N-A-S. Yonanas. Okay. All right. Let's see. So my A1C is down from 10.6 to 6.4 in 65 days being whole food plant-based. Talked to my clinical pharmacist yesterday and was removed from my cholesterol meds and cut the rest in half. And should be, I mean, that's fantastic. Congratulations. That's what I'm talking about. That's what's expected on this program. So it's not really a surprise, but I'm happy for you. And I want you to keep going and hope you come back to the show and you tell us when you're completely off your meds. All right, keep going. Hopefully you're getting to an ideal body weight as well. Uh, we have a, a whole um, article and sort of a, a key teaching point about what it takes to know that you are truly insulin sensitive. And it's, we have an acronym, it's called PILAF, okay? And so one of those acronyms is your ideal body weight. So if you want to truly say, yes, I am, I've optimized my insulin sensitivity, you got to get to your ideal body weight. That's going to be a key component here. So keep going, keep doing that. Hope you're making some ice cream that you enjoy. Okay. I just bought Omla Green recently and love that I can just buy one product. I was buying a bag of Omla powder often and a uh, monthly. Okay. I see. I got it. So Angel's basically saying how she used to have hibiscus and Omla, buy them separately, but then she bought Omla Green hibiscus which is my preferred uh, amla. That's the one I have right here. That's the one I consume, amla green hibiscus, okay? It's amazing. Naturally caffeine-free, the world's most powerful, antioxidant-rich whole food. Like, it's just incredible. So i um, super glad you're doing that. Let me see if I can get back to the comment. Okay. Um, is carob powder better than cacao powder? You can do either one. Either one is fine. Um, carob powder would be caffeine-free. So if you're trying to stay caffeine-free, it's a choice, choice you're making. Carob powder is a way to get that chocolate flavor with no caffeine. Okay. Down 20 pounds. Good job, Stephen Page. I love it. I love it. Keep it going. It's huge. Okay. Where can the info about insulin sensitivity be found? That's something I really... Uh, okay. So hold on. Let me, let me get this article. Hold on one second. Uh, put the mic over here. Okay. Um, it's going to be right here. Okay. Mastering diabetes. Okay, let's see. All right. All right. Okay, copy. I'll uh, put it, see, can I put it in the chat box? I don't know. Um, okay, well, the, the, the article is titled How to Accurately Assess Your Level of Insulin Resistance. That's the name of the title, or that, that's the title of the article. You can Google that. Um, 
and then you will be able to um, check it out. So I don't know where I would paste the link. Sorry, guys. Private chat. Oh, I can take, probably chat it to the producer. There we go. How about that? Okay. Um, any other questions? Um, I appreciate you guys coming today. I'm sorry I didn't have the blueberries. I'm going to work on that. And I, I have been telling you that coaches are going to be joining the show, and that is going to happen. I'm super excited about it, like super excited to be bringing in our coaches because this whole concept of simple meals is essential, right? Um, okay, you should paste it. Excellent. I was pre-diabetic, sugar in the normal range, according to my doctor. Cholesterol 160 was over 200. That's amazing. It's amazing. I love hearing the success stories. Keep them coming. Celebrate your success. Make this the, um, the brag box, okay? The brag box right here in the chat. So what I was saying is simple meals are the cornerstone to succeeding on this lifestyle long-term, like period, end of story. You cannot eat a bunch of complex meals all the time and make all these fancy recipes and go to restaurants all the time. It's not going to work. It's not going to work long-term. You have to establish and figure out how to make simple meals that you find that are delicious, that are accessible to you. Um, now I will tell you this ice cream. So if you're doing like food prep, um, that can store as ice cream, right? This could store in the freezer for gosh, I don't even know how long, probably a good chunk of time. I'm not going to make up a number because when I do make ice cream and store it in the freezer, I eat it within a few days, right? Like I eat it very fast, but like you could make it in advance and store it. All right. So the point is, convenient, simple meals. That's what this show is about. Like I've been, I've, if you go back and watch the previous episodes, like the level of simplicity is absurd and that's intentional. And it's always going to be like that. We're going to be bringing the coaches on to show you their simple meals, their go-to meals. Okay. Go-to meals is a huge concept in our coaching program and how people succeed long-term. Okay. So we're going to have fun. Um, and, um, and we're going to, we're going to call it a day here in a moment. But um, Penny purchased the book. I love that. Penny, fantastic. Here's the book. Let me get it on the other camera here. Okay. Boom. Mastering Diabetes, New York Times bestseller, over 800 citations in this book. This is an evidence-based approach. It is, let me, let me read you the subtitle. The revolutionary method to reverse insulin resistance permanently in type 1, type 1.5, type two, pre-diabetes and gestational diabetes. Okay. This is the Bible. This is your evidence-based manual for how to reverse insulin resistance. That's what this is. All right. Um, it's not based on just my own like personal story and uh, let me, it just worked for me. So let me uh, suggest that you do it too. This is based on evidence, which is why it works for me, why it works for our clients. Okay. That's what this is all about. Um, so pick up a copy of the book. You can get it at your library. You can get it on, uh, on Amazon. You can get it on Audible. Uh, you can get it on Google Play. If you listen to audiobooks on Google Play, uh, we reread our own audiobook, which is super fun. But that is, that's the, that's the manual right there. Okay. All right. I was diagnosed DM2 in early May with an A1C at 12.2. I went hopefully plant-based right away. At my 90-day checkup, my A1C was 6.1 and I had lost 26 pounds. Loving this way to eat and your book is so comprehensive. Jennifer, I love that. I love that. Congratulations. Keep it going and, and keep us posted on your progress. I want that A1C 5.6% or less. I bought one for two friends and one is type two, the other young lady like me, type one like me. All right. Jacqueline, welcome to the club, the type one diabetes cool club. Glad to have you in it. Guys, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for joining. I, I appreciate that you uh, are here. Uh, we want to help you as much as possible. If you're looking for coaching and guidance, definitely go schedule a discovery call so we can talk to you, make sure that we can help you, make sure you're a good fit. All right. And uh, I will see you next week, Wednesday, one o'clock PM Eastern. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later.